Welcome back to Daily Connections. Who can resist a warm and hearty soup? I know I can. And that's why I'm excited about our zoo's next dish. She's going to prepare a butternut squash soup. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have just gotten into the butternut squash soups. Yes. Just yes. last year, I mm -hmm. tried it out and I loved it. So okay. tell me, how can I make it at home? All right, great. Uh, these are actually the peeled butternut squash. They have whitish skin. We took them out. Uh, the best thing, I learned this in America, because in Turkey we have a hard time peeling it. Mm -hmm. And in America I learned one of my chef friend, and you bring the oven 375 degree, and you oil your pan, mm -hmm. you put your, you cut it in half. Okay. You putting your, get it on, uh, and then roasting like 50 minutes. 50? Uh -huh. uh huh. And then you're peeling it off. Oh, uh -huh. and the skin it's comes right off. Eye. Otherwise, it's a hard job to do. Oh, okay. Then, either way, you can do it, and then cut them in chunks, like mm -hmm. that. Okay. Okay. And then we have red onions, we have uh, parsley to garnish, and we have garlic. Uh, what makes our ginger soup, there can be tons of gingers, uh, ginger butternut squash soups, mm -hmm. but Ginger and nutmeg today will together make it unique. Different, yeah. Oh, okay. all right. Uh, then we have just a little bit of uh, vegetable oil, very healthy soup. But butternut squash gives all the buttery texture, mm. so the rich texture. And we're not even going to add any cream or anything. Oh, okay. wow. All right, I'm ready. Okay, very good. And there, and actually, I just started uh, boiling some chicken broth. It's like five cups of chicken broth. Okay. Or vegetable broth, if you're a vegetarian. Then I add uh, my, um, I will say, four cups of chunk uh, butternut squash, okay. fresh. And then it's been cooking for 20 minutes. Okay, is that okay. a good amount of time? It looks like it's breaking and down And then after, bit. honestly, it's very, very easy. You know, I'm just going to put my pan in a hot stove, uh, temperature, and then I'm going to start sauteing my onions. I love red onions. Mm, so do I. Mm -hmm. And then some garlic, always. In the meantime, yeah, I like to use fresh nutmegs, so I'm just going to this is little big, you know, there are tiny ones mm -hmm. for not big. Oh, thank you. Yeah, that oh, would sure. be wonderful. And um, they're like coconuts. They're, they're called tiny coconuts. They do, they look like yeah. little coconuts. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm. You can even smell from doing this hot fish. And all right. let's just add the garlic. Okay. Okay, wonderful. And then, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, what else? Yeah, let's just garlic and mm. ginger and nutmeg mm -hmm. and two tablespoons of brown sugar. And brown sugar. Yeah. See, that's also, those are little, little things. Makes it your soup all different. I guess it just spices. accents the natural flavor of the mm. butternut squash. It's so interesting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna lower the heat or you do because it's okay. Yeah, it's just mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you. Now, how much ginger okay. would you add? Uh, ginger, fresh ginger. Good, we didn't add yet. <laughs> we add the nut. Thank you for reminding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's okay. We're not gonna add it in there. We're gonna add it this into soup. It's just one oh, teaspoon. Okay. This is the fresh ginger. Fresh oh. ginger. <laughs> All right. Okay, we can turn it off. Actually. Turn this off. Yeah. Okay. And I just peeled it. And uh, I'll move here. So just chop peel them. off that skin yeah. and then chop it up. Yeah. I'm going to just add this into my hot soup. Okay. Oh, okay. And, you know, ginger comes from, uh, originally from Jamaica. And really? It, it, could, it, it would use widely from India, Africa, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. and it's, you know, wonderful, wonderful uh, Yeah, I couldn't enjoy my sushi without ginger. <laughs> <laughs> I know, yeah. One okay, of the many things. Oh, so we're just adding so everything in. Mm -hmm. Alright, well, would you just stir it around? Yeah, sure. thank you. Alright. Alrighty.
Okay, as soon as you're done, you can bring it in the middle here. Let me okay. put it. It might be hot. I'll put give something for you. Great. Okay. There we go. And all right. Let's see. <laughs> oh, look at that go. Okay. Yeah, I've learned to let to let our zoo handle that. I'll get out of the way. <laughs> Great. Now, um, would you serve this with something? A soup if you're going to have it for dinner or something like that? Yeah. What do you like to serve with it? This is afterwards. I would serve roast of lamb. Uh, oh. Yeah. Leg of nice leg of lamb after this. This nice autumn day. Oh, that would yeah. be nice. Mm -hmm. But if it's a lunch, it can be wonderful with just right after a nice green salad. Mm. Mm -hmm. Because. Oops, you okay? Don't yeah, be scared. I just no, no, learned no. to be a little bit careful. No, no, no. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, there's a nice and creamy. Yeah, maybe we should put those things on the side. I think. Sure. Uh, we have a nice bowl in the back. If you can bring it to me. Of course. Thank you so much. And I'm just gonna pour it. All right. Here it is, and I'm leaving some red onions. I like to see them. I, I'm not going to go all the way down to puree. Okay. And again, my taste. I like to have a little you know, bit. Yes, that's right. I'm scrolling into this. All right. Very, very nice. Okay. Oh, thank you. And you know me. I'm always ready for a taste, so I'm bringing the bowls over. <laughs> All right, at this point, sorry, we didn't season it yet. I'm going to put a teaspoon of salt, okay? Okay. And then pepper, and if you can reach the parsley for me, that of would course. be wonderful. And fresh pepper. I always season it last. Mm -hmm. Interesting. To season it last, that's mm -hmm. interesting. It's always soups. When you make it specially fresh soups, mm -hmm. always, you know, you add it at the... Like because when you cook with the spice and everything, you know, that you're losing uh, the texture. Ah, so that and, makes uh, sense. Yeah. So once you know that you've got your spices and all those ingredients together, then you can salt and pepper it to taste. And then I would taste it. It's good. Mm. Now I'm going to put the parsley. Mm -hmm. It's really good. How beautiful. What a beautiful like color. It. Thank you for joining us today. I am just getting ready to taste our zoo's butternut squash soup. It looks fabulous. Mm.